What are you doing? Stick my truck out. Is that your cave? Cat you have a cat pack. What are these? Look. Hey, I'm gonna take a picture. You wanna take a picture? Yeah. Here. You ready? Uh, let me see, let me see me. You wanna see you? There you are. Okay, yeah, you're getting it today. Yep. Yeah, do you see you? Say bye bye to the camera. Uh, well, good morning everybody. Today is actually going to be Avery's birthday party. That's not until way later in the day. We got a bunch of stuff we got to knock out prior to then. Of course, it's just a normal day and I thought I'd bring you guys along as always. Um, I haven't showed you guys this yet. I'm going to give you guys, well no, I showed you guys yesterday. I lied. I showed you guys the other day. Yep. Those limited rods, they're not out yet. Not going to show you in depth uh, because they're not, well you, you can't get them. I'm very sorry. But I am going to bring this with us today just because I haven't done it in a little while. Oh yes, yes indeed. Need a little bit of this action in my life. Yes. These little cases are freaking awesome guys. I think it was like 25 bucks. Probably one of the coolest little ammo cans you could possibly buy. And it also weighs like 65 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> not gonna lie, the first thought I just had there for a second was, oh man, I hope I don't run over that camera. You know what, we're gonna do it. We're gonna give it a shot, you gotta do a full send. I don't know, it probably was a kind of a, a goofy shot, but had, had, to, had to give it a shot. Had to give, had to give, had to give that shot a shot. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. But uh, the other day I was talking to you guys that I told you guys we, we leased a bunch of land. I'm gonna let you guys know about that here very soon. This is not it. This is this is the land that I've been hunting for the last year with Ryan for pigs and coyotes and, and we put some some cameras out here. We're gonna go check them today. And if this is not producing any deer over here, because it's actually fairly close to the city, as you can tell, there's cars driving by. I'm just gonna take these cameras. I'm gonna put them up. And I'm gonna try to trap some raccoons. But we're gonna put forth all the effort out in uh, out on the ranch and like legitimately put forth 100% of all the effort and kind of like leave this be. But if there is some deer coming in on here. If there's like good ones, probably just gonna keep let let this place keep it keep going, keep keep coming out here putting protein. But if not, then all the effort will be put forth out in uh, a wet western half of Texas. Okay, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Right now we're just gonna have to kind of chill and wait for Ryan, I guess. Just kind of hanging out. Didn't bring the camera from the truck down into the woods, so you guys are getting the old cell phone action, which is no big deal. It, it works just fine. This was tilted towards the wrong way. I think something ran into it, maybe a cow, and that. Uh, that protein feeder is completely empty. So hopefully this thing actually did turn on. I was kind of a little bit iffy on how this thing even worked, but I did bring the, I did bring my laptop. I'm gonna go load it. I'm gonna go load it. I'm gonna go throw it in the, the laptop, see if there's anything on it. Okay. Okay. Where are we going with it? Probably, probably somewhere just over here. I moved the camera because last time we had it, and then there we go. This is the way they've been coming up. This is the way they came up is right through here. Having a lot of trouble with cows eating out of the protein feeder. So I gathered up a bunch of cow bones and we're gonna put them right in front of it so they can kind of have know. a tell your friends type of deal that if they try to eat from <laughs> here, they're gonna die. I like that. It's a good idea. Back on the old handy cam and I did notice that we had one one good buck come through it was a pretty decent buck coming through here uh there was cattle that did push the freaking uh camera over but I did notice that the deer were actually they were coming up through here but they weren't actually coming up that side that we had in place the camera on they were kind of more this way so I'm going to re-put this camera and like I said a few minutes ago if there's good deer coming through here I'm not going to change it and we're going to keep this place going there was also I'm going to roll some pictures right now there's also coyotes there was cows there was raccoons of course and then there was a bunch of does which was good and then that one uh, quality buck as you guys see right here I think it was pretty wide six point now I had the camera way over there on the opposite side of the creek but the deer were coming up through here and walking up this way this is where they were coming they weren't going that way they were in this more open stuff I found the good tree it's gonna be this one right here looking this way this is where they've been coming through tree give me the pictures 
Okay, time to go check the other property. The other one, we're not really... Okay, now it's time to go check out the other property. This one, this one was the one that we were a little bit more confident in. The other one is eh, iffy, iffy. So I know at the very beginning I told you guys I had a lot of stuff we had to do today and now we are actually, well, we actually land, left the land, Ryan's land, we're, uh, the one that's here near the city. And then now we're here. Taking again to the house, I've got uh, my stepdad down there, Randy, he's got one trap and I've got a camera for you guys. And then I'm also gonna be bringing down this other trap. Yeah, this one right here. And maybe some honey buns. Not, not just maybe, but yes, I've got six honey buns to throw down in here to come and check in the morning uh i saw some big old raccoon prints last time i came out here to the house and uh kind of gave me the idea you know let's see if we can actually trap a raccoon inside the house like legitimately inside the house so because that'd be kind of cool you know I'd be like hey avery i trapped a, a raccoon right here in the living room before the house was finished but i know some of you guys in the comments said that you guys like to see the updated version of the house wow i just caught everything down there uh looks like they're about to pour the the pad for the garage well that's literally just going to be for the boat and side by side and stuff like that uh, but here we go this is pretty much what we got going on here retaining walls four days still oh they backfilled them though that's interesting i got a nice little hopefully leave that bud light bottle right there it's really good if you guys put bud light behind your behind your retaining walls okay well here we go um maybe i'll show you guys the prints if i can actually see one it was back in here because it rained not too long ago and there was a ton over here wow lots of lots of lots of dirt let me go let me go see if i can find it um they were somewhere god i thought they were somewhere right in here come on i can find them they've got to be somewhere in here i see some you guys see them there we go. There's some Ricky prints. There's some Ricky prints there. Some right there. Probably some more. Let's see if we can catch one inside the house. Before we do that, let's go ahead and... Uh, there we go. Here's the front. That's the door. That's literally... That's the door. And this is the roof, I guess. Let's, let's take a look. What, the, what does it look like over here? Oh, more retaining walls. Hey, retaining walls. Just for days. There you go. There's the front. He's in the living room. That's my office. And those are a couple bedrooms, I guess. This is pretty much what it looks like. I won't actually be coming back here. Well, I'll come down here one more time before I leave to go on all the hunting trips. So when I come back, it's going to look completely different. So this is pretty much the last time you guys are going to see it as well. I would assume. Office, bedroom. This is the living room. Ah, sounds echoey. I don't know what in the world this is. Anyway, kitchen behind me. And then a bunch of, uh, well, not a bunch, three bedrooms. One, two, and three. And then this is crucial right here for everybody that wants to have a kid. You guys ever get the opportunity? This, this little room. Does that area see this? It's called the common, the play area. Toys, see that, that, that closet right over there. Toys, and guess where dad's office is? Dad's office, way over there, way away from the toys. Huh. And then last but not least, carport. Good, we got shade, that's crucial. Okay, next up on the list, catching these raccoons. Where should we do it? Yeah, I just come check in the morning. But on a good note, this is inside, so they're not going to be like 140 degrees. I'll see the trail going out. Come on, little raccoon. Come on, turd. Oh, he's going to eat that. He's going to get right in there. Come on. Okay, got everything set up. We're actually going to be putting one inside the living room, which is right up there, I'll show you in a second. But I decided to put one out on the carport because, well, my stepdad's like, you know what, you should probably stick one out on the carport. I mean, you never know. They're actually just going to go inside the house. They should be out here, right? So, got one out here, clearly in the, it's in my carport. So, got one up in the carport, and then I did leave one scrumdily umptious little dealio. I don't know why I say that word so much. Yeah, right here, right in the back, just kind of like, hey, come on, come get me, I'm ready for you, type deal. When I, what I mean for a honey bun, right there on the back of the retaining wall, and then leading in is like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. anyway, there's honey buns leading all the way into there. See that right there? Oh, by the way, trail cam right there. Now that I'm sitting here looking at this, like, this might be a little bit too many honey buns on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and move some to the other side, and then we're gonna get out of here. Oh, yeah, right there, perfect. Oh, by the way, I'm sure there's some of you guys who are new to this channel wondering why I'm trapping raccoons. Well, we're going to be living here. Got to get rid of the raccoons, you know? Got to get rid of them. You don't want those things sifting through your trash. 
getting up in your attic? No one likes raccoons in their attic. Well, hmm, no. Hey, are you excited? Okay. You excited? Chocolate. The chocolate? Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's your hammer? Yeah, you hammer? Can you hammer me? That, 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 that looks like a treasure chest. That's a treasure chest. That's a treasure chest. You want some cupcakes? Well, we have to wait for your party for that. Yeah, I know. Here you go. Okay, let's just keep working. Here you go. Okay, I know the cameras may look a little bit different. I actually switched. Yeah, we're about to head over to Avery's birthday. I'm probably not gonna bring a camera <laughs> to a water park with kids because that was yeah. Okay, well there you guys go. I'm not gonna bring there because it'd be kind of awkward, you know, sit there with. She's... What are you doing? What are you doing? You wanna say hello? Come here. You wanna say hello? Okay, that's what we're. Avery. That is Avery. Yep, that's you. Say hello. Hello, Avery. That's, hello, Avery. Avery's right there. Avery's right there. You see Avery? <laughs> and it is the next morning. We're gonna be heading up to land to see if Ricky is in a cage or not. And also, Sarah would like to see the house. She hasn't seen it. Saying hi to the truck. Wow. Come on. Cold, cold. Yeah, no. Cold. No, you. Fire. There's no fire. <laughs> yes. No, what happened, guys? Back up in the land, it is clearly the next day. As you guys saw that, that titling just literally said it was the next day. But uh, we got Stevenism is here. Steven, how's, how's it look? Oh, I don't see anything in there. No, not in that one. How do you how do you feel? What what? Nothing. The back one was metal. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it at that. Hold on a sec. It looks like every one of my honey buns are gone though, leading into it. Did you eat them? Oh wow, that's nice and blown out. There we go. That would look really good. Sorry for the image quality there for a second. Part look. Mean Chick-fil-A was closed today, so... Chick-fil-A was closed, but look, if you look at every single honey bun leading up in there. Do we have Tricky Rickies here? Oh, definitely don't jump. Don't jump right there, that's all nails. Um, Steven, I'll just hand you this. I'm gonna go take the, the walk. I haven't gone out there, but I do have that camera, that trail camera right there. You didn't bring your, your computer, did you? No, I didn't. Oh, we can stick them inside the camera and see if there's images. Okay. And then... Yeah. Yeah. You're just gonna see me eating them. Yeah, it's just Steven. <laughs> I didn't know it was there. <laughs> hey, Avery, we're going to your room. Which one do you want? You want that one? This is Avery's room too. This is all your room. This one out here is trip. That one's trip. Shut, okay, Steven, I know what happened with this one. That didn't fit. <laughs> you didn't fit. <laughs> I think we got those kind of raccoons that you would uh, that were like at the Guyan house, the MTB house, the ones that have been trapped many of times. I think I've got those kind of raccoons here. I bet you this one. I don't have a camera. I bet you this one did the same as all the other ones. He slowly probably came in, went reaching for it, had his back butt out, and just. I promise you, I've seen too many of these smart rickies. Okay, let's go. Let's go pop that memory card in and actually, I promise you, we got smart. Fat Ricky. This is this is this is about to turn into a crazy. I'm gonna catch these raccoons. Operation Ricky. This is on my land, and I got smart raccoons. This is, okay, so we didn't have anything on this camera. I don't know. I didn't pick up anything whatsoever, which is might have been just a tad bit too high, and uh, something something didn't happen right. But I will tell you this. Look at this. Look, there's even a paw print. Raccoons, raccoon, raccoons. Look at all these raccoons right here. See, let's do this. Look, all of them, all throughout here. I think we now have a war at my house with the raccoons, 100%. I've got to go somewhere tonight, but when I come back, we are going to make this a mission to catch, these might be the world's smartest raccoons. Beforehand at the Guggen house, I was dealing with some smart raccoons. Oh no, we might have some freaking, who's really smart? Not me. Albert Einstein, yeah. not me. <laughs> uh, but I am going to stick this up. So if they've been coming through here, I could probably get away with sticking it somewhere, but I, what do you think? That corner post? That corner post right there. Yeah. Looking in. Looking this way. But what if they start working on this area? Maybe that tree right there. There you go. That's the one. All right, I'm just going to leave that right there. We put the SD card back in there, right? Oh, that son of a gun was like pawing at that. All right. Whoops. Dude, that thing just caught us walking in. I just saw that. 
That camera's here. I'm gonna be gone for a couple days, not, not coming to the house, and we'll stop here one more time before we go on our hunting excursions. I really feel like I need to start taking control of my raccoon problem here. Ricky cannot get out of control on my land. We may take drastic measures. Okay, still a big mess. I wanna say thank you so much to Ebler Stock. I'm probably saying it incorrect, but they sent me a couple bags. I actually have used their stuff for quite a long time. I used one of the military as a drag bag and as a, oh gosh, which one was it? Gunslinger bag, the gunslinger bag. We used that one as well. Um, anyway, I wanna say thank you so much for them for sending me something. That's very, very kind and generous and you have a very big heart. I wanna say, I wanna say as well, I'm sure the comments on the video that's going live in a couple hours is gonna be very brutal. I've, I've thought very long and hard about this video and, the, and, and I, I just wanna let you guys know, I still have that AK from, from yesterday's video. It's right here, underneath my bag. Right there. It's still, it's not gonna work, I know. If you guys know what I'm talking about, that video is, is up on the channel. It's literally called, I think, like, Demolition Ranch Destroyed by AK. The thing is, I wanted to do something with him, and I had this AK-47 that was giving me issues in the first place. I was like, you know what, man? Let's have some fun with this. Let's test the legitimate boundaries of an AK-47. And it's right there. So, that gun's not going to go to waste. It's going to go up on my wall. It's going to be like a cool little deal. And now we all know the boundaries of an AK-47. If you guys have not seen that video, go check it out. It's pretty scrum -dilly. I'm just, gosh dang it, why do I always say that? We've got to find a new one. So, anyway, i got to get ready for tomorrow. I'm going to be heading out on an airplane in a couple hours. i got a nice fresh haircut. You guys like that, I know. Hanging out with, uh, I'm actually going out there with a suppressor company and doing some stuff with a couple people. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be something uh, quite a bit different. Huh. I think I'll bring you guys along, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back in Texas probably when this video goes live. So it's only it's a very short trip. So I will see you guys back here doing some stuff, catching those Rickies. Ricky has got to get caught. So anyway, I love you guys and you guys know the deal. Click that video right there if you're not seeing that one. Then, hey, click the one right below if you haven't already. Subscribe right down there. Do a little piece. I love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out. And I love it.